have a very painful encounter with the local insects. Here at the university, there's something really bugging the students, but it's nothing to do with their grades. A small black and red beetle? Mm -hmm. It burns your arms. Mm -hmm. This little patch of greenery, amongst all this concrete, is an absolute paradise for the little beetle I'm looking for. But if you were a student chilling out on this piece of grass and you inadvertently came across one, it could make your life absolute hell. That's gorgeous. I've got a very, very speedy, absolutely gorgeous rove beetle. Now look at it, this guy. There. This little creature's moving so fast, I'm gonna have to try and keep it still somehow. So there you go, into captivity. Isn't that beautiful? They may grow to under a centimeter in length, but their hemolymph, that's the insect equivalent of blood, is 12 times more poisonous than cobra venom. The university's professor of entomology says that this little fella has been stirring up quite a bit of trouble here. And so, uh, at the times, um, many news in the newspapers they talk uh -huh. about this, and uh, some people just come and ask me how we can repair them. Right. So, because the problem is from the liquid from inside the insect body, some we have to because they burn the, the, the skin. Really? Yes, it's make it's uh, inconvenient. Right. Yeah. Painful? Yes, painful. <laughs> it doesn't sound like a very nice beetle, does it? Yes, we don't like it. So what has the grass roaming rove beetle got against the students? And how does it inflict so much pain? They don't naturally want to hurt human beings, but the problem is they're attracted to light. So once they see a light on in somewhere like a student dormitory, they'll get in, and that's where the problems begin. As a human, it's a natural reaction to want to squash this little beetle if it gets on your skin. But if you were to squash this rove beetle, you'll get the toxin on your skin, which can be quite painful. So the best bet is do what the locals do. Just blow it away. That way, you don't get hurt, and this cool little beetle gets to live another day. <sighs> Just be nice to the students. <laughs>